Hi, and welcome from Yuma County Main Library's Youth Services. I'm Miss Carol, and today I'll be showing you how to make your own scratch art paper. For this project, you will need cardstock or heavy paper, crayons, a paintbrush, black acrylic paint, a measuring spoon, dish soap, and a little bowl or container to put your acrylic paint and dish soap into. So we'll start off by coloring a design or a picture on our cardstock. And I am just going to take a crayon and start coloring. You can color stripes or pictures or designs, whatever you'd like. Just make sure that when you're coloring, you press hard and that you cover all of the paper so that you have no wipes left. I just want to get that nice and heavy there. I'm going to take a different color and I'm going to add it. Just like this. I'm going to choose a different color and continue until I have the whole page covered. So you just keep on doing that, filling the whole page with crayon. I'm going to set this aside and this is a paper I did previously. So you, as you can see, I just did different designs and then colored the rest and filled it in with crayon. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to use equal parts. Let me move this out of the way for now so we don't get any of this stuff on there. E I'm going to use equal parts of paint and dish soap. So right now for this, I'm using one teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a teaspoon of the black acrylic paint into here. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to use the paintbrush to try and get as much of that paint out of there as possible. And now I'm going to get the dish soap and add one teaspoon of the dish soap to the paint. Set that aside and I'm going to mix this well until it's all blended. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to get the paper that I previously used the crayons on and I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to start painting over the crayon. And if you might want to cover the table or the surface that you're um, using with a little newspaper or a tablecloth or something so that you protect the surface. I'm doing that so you just cover the crayons evenly with the acrylic paint dish soap mixture until it's all covered and you can see this is kind of what it looks like I'm not going to do the whole thing I'm going to set this aside but once you're finished you just let it dry and once it's dry, you can begin scratching your designs or your pictures on there. Here's a picture, uh, paper that I painted and let dry previously. So you're going to want to use a toothpick or something similar. And you can just take it to the paper and start scratching. see that it creates a really pretty picture with the different colors that you use. So you can paint designs 
for your name. I'm going to do my name. Let's see. And you can see the color coming up. But what else could you possibly use to scratch? Well, I thought I'd try a fork. We have several different tines there. Let's see what kind of designs we can do with that. So you can use it to make waves or circles. So you're not limited to a toothpick. See what else you have around the house that you can use to scratch pictures or designs into your black scratch art paper. And voila, you've made your own scratch art. For other art ideas, check out our recommended books. I hope you enjoyed today's program and thank you for watching.